Hi everyone, my name is Albert, one of the co-founders at VectorShift. Today I'm going to talk about how to build a resume review automation through the VectorShift platform. This solves a common problem that many businesses face is basically you're getting too many resumes to review all at once. Here at VectorShift, we get over 10,000 resumes every single month, and it is a lot of work to sort through them when I know exactly what criteria I'm trying to look for to pass the resume screen. So instead of having to review each resume one by one, I'm going to build this automation that is able to review a whole batch of resumes, find the ones that meet a certain criteria, and then I'm able to manually review that. Tactically, what's going to happen is I'm going to create a way to submit hundreds of resumes, then the automation is going to review each one, then it's going to populate this Google Sheet with a full name, the LinkedIn profile extracted from the resume, the criteria score, which is how many of a given criteria does this resume meet? And then the justification for giving that resume that score. Then I'm able to filter on this column to see who has met a certain criteria score. And then I'm able to manually see the LinkedIn profiles and their resumes. Let's head over to the VectorShift platform to show you how to build this. So in VectorShift, whenever you have a process that you're trying to automate that is very repetitive, you want to basically build a pipeline that's able to automate the process for a single subunit, in this case, to review a single resume. Then you have another pipeline that is able to call that pipeline on repeat, and that is able to you know, uh, automate a whole batch of work, in this case, thousands of resumes, by calling that process over and over again. So let's first build the pipeline that is the subunit, which is able to review a single resume. To begin, we need a first an input node we need to first be able to submit a single resume. So let's take this input node and rename it resume. And the type is file because resumes are files. The second input node that we need is the criteria. So when I have a batch of resumes, I have you know, certain criteria that I wanna you know, sort them by. For example, I want people with at least one year of experience. And I need to provide that through an input so that I'm able to provide that in the future to an LLM um, so that they can see whether or not this resume matches this criteria. Let's go ahead and now drag out an LM node. This LM node is the one that's going to evaluate the resume according to the criteria and then give a justification for whether this resume meets the criteria or not. I have a prompt that's pre-written. Basically what it says is it's telling LM that you're given a resume and your job is to evaluate how closely the criteria is met for the resume and then generate exactly whether the, you know, which criteria is met or not, and then the justification for that, um, that criteria. So let's go ahead and connect the resume and the criteria to this LLM now. In VectorShift, whenever you want to pass data between nodes, you use something called variables. How to turn on a variable is you just use double curly braces, and then you select the node that you want to connect to, and then the output field. So in this case, the resume node has two output fields because it's a file. It's the file itself or it's the text from the file. LM nodes need text, so that's why we are calling the process text output field from the resume node. All right, let's con connect the criteria as well. And there we go. So this LM is already now outputting the evaluation based on the criteria. Now, as you saw from the Google Sheet, there's a column called, called criteria score. What we need to do is we need to understand how many of the criteria are met. So, you know, say I have four criteria, maybe this person meets three out of the four. To be able to do that, I need to use an extract data node. I need to extract the total number of criteria and the total number of criteria that has been met. So I'm going to extract, you know, from this OpenAI node, the number of successes which is the number of criteria that has been met, and then the total number of criteria. And then I have some brief descriptions for what these are. Basically the total, just basically what I said, you know, the number of criteria specified and the number of criteria the applicant has met. I'm gonna just give it some additional context to this extract data node to say, you know, this is a breakdown of how many requirements an applicant has met, extract how many they have met and how many there were overall. So now I want to format this a little bit better because basically I want to be able to filter my Google sheet and say, you know, this 
person has met three out of the four criteria or four out of four or two out of four. So all I have to do is take out a text node. And basically I have to do number of successes over number of total criteria. So let's go ahead and connect extract data, number of successes, and then divided by extract data, total number of criteria. So if this LM determines that I've met all four criteria, the number of successes will be four, the total number of criteria will be four as well, and then this will print four out of four, which I can then populate into the Google Sheet. Finally, if you remember from the Google Sheet, I have to also extract the phone name of the person and the LinkedIn of the person from the resume. So let's go ahead and drag out another extract data node. And I'm going to extract this directly from the resume text. So let's just say resume.process text again. And I have some helper text. And I'm just going to tell this extract data node to extract relevant information. And then if nothing could be found, return unknown. So there's two fields. There's full name. And then there's LinkedIn profile. And I have some helper text to describe each of these fields as well. There we go. The sub pipeline's almost finished. The only thing we need to do is to pipe the data into Google Sheets. So let's drag out a Google Sheets node. And we need to add a new row for each candidate. So let's go ahead and pick a file. The file that I have currently up as an example is called resume. Let's select a sheet within the Google Sheet and confirm selection. Within the Google Sheet, we're going to populate each of the columns that you just saw. So the phone name is coming from Extract Data 1, full name. The LinkedIn is also coming from Extract Data 1. LinkedIn profile is the field. The criteria score is coming from this text node. And then the justification is coming from the OpenAI 0 node. There we go. We have all the pieces done for the subpipeline. Just as a review, the subpipeline takes in two input fields, the resume and the criteria. Then this LLM goes to and figures out how many of the criteria does the resume meet. Then based on um, the justification, I figure out with this extract data node, how many successes versus how many total criteria there are, I display it through a text node and then pipe into Google Sheets. Then this extract data node down here extracts the phone name and the LinkedIn profile and populates it into Google Sheets as well. Let's call this resume subpipeline. And now, as I discussed from the beginning, is we're going to build another pipeline that calls this in a loop to be able to process a lot of different resumes. So let's go ahead and deploy changes. Let's head back to the pipelines menu and click new on the top right and create another new pipeline. Let's call this resume master pipeline. So what we're trying to do with this pipeline is we want to give the user or myself in this case, the ability to upload a lot of resumes, let's say hundreds or even thousands, and then pipe the, these individually into the other pipeline, call that in a loop, and then we'll be able to automate this process end to end. So let's go ahead and first drag out an input node. So the input node is first, we need to title this resumes. This is going to allow the user to upload a lot of different resumes. And the type here is list of files, which means a lot of different files that you can upload at the same time. So then we need to drag out a pipeline node. And let's select the pipeline that we just made called resume sub pipeline. And you can see that it takes in two fields, criteria and resume. We need to turn on list mode, which is now it would take in a list of text and a list of files, which is what we want. We want to be able to take in a list of all the resumes and a list of criteria to evaluate the resumes against. So with the resume input field, let's go ahead and select the resumes input node. So now it connects. Now we're going to take in a, you know, an arbitrary number of files and then process them one by one. Now we need another input node that allows the user to specify the criteria. Now, the criteria is written in text. One thing you're going to note is that this text doesn't match the type of list of text. You're not going to be able to connect this. We now need to actually create a list of text, a list of the criteria of the same size of the resumes 
even though that each item in that list will be the same thing, you know, the criteria, so that we're going to be able to evaluate each resume against the respective criteria. So let's go ahead and pull out a list operation node and select the duplicate item node. So we're going to take the criteria, we're going to duplicate that the same amount of times as the list, however long the list of files are. So we're going to match this to the resumes. Now this is going to create a list of uh, text with each of the text being the criteria of the same size as the number of resumes. And then we could pass that now into the pipeline node. There we go. We have the pipeline finished. This is going to be able to take in the criteria, a list of resumes, and then we're going to be able to pass that in to the pipeline that we just created to automate this task end to end. Let's go ahead and deploy changes. And let's go ahead and run it now. So now I'm able to upload a lot of different files. And then for criteria, I'm going to say, you know, has at least one year of experience, has experience with UI UX, worked at a startup or founded a startup worked at a large tech company. So let's just give it four criteria. Now, when we run it, we're going to be taking all these files and the criteria. We're going to be duplicating the criteria uh, once these files are processed. And then we're going to be passing that data into the sub-pipeline. As resumes get reviewed, they're going to get populated to the sheet. Cool. Thank you very much. Hope this was informative. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.